All right, about to go on a nice long ride. It's rainy, but we're gonna go for it. There's a lot of e-bikes on the market right now. And it feels like every day there's another new company or another new model coming out and there's you name it there's a bike that offers the features you're looking for something I was very interested in when Roll Road reached out to me was that they have a very nice cargo rack which looks like it can hold a good amount of gear and on top of that they have an extended an optional extended seat to haul another passenger. So this bike kind of fills a, a gap that's missing in the world of e-bikes that is pertinent to actually hauling, whether that's equipment or a second rider. I think this this bike is going to prove itself worthy of, of the price tag. It is a little bit more expensive, but Adam and I decided to give it a try out on some backcountry roads, load it up with camping gear, and here are some of the features that have caused this bike to become one of my top three favorite bikes that we have ridden. Adam sitting drinking a beer on the park bench. Let's ride. <laughs> That's awesome. Did you bring me one? Yes. Let's take a beer break. Gotta do it all for the video. Yes. Yeah, thank you. And then cheers. There we go. Here we go. The sun came out. It's supposed to rain, but we're going to keep riding. into the trail down to four bars out of five can't see it um, I think I hit a top speed of 34 and right now this is uh, this connects to Longview Lake and we're just gonna follow the west shore of the lake for a while like we're both pretty good both pretty good on battery right now so yeah it's fun we're gonna swap bikes quick maybe How many miles do you think we covered? Probably cover like uh, five miles. Yeah, five, six miles and six miles. Less than an hour. Less than an hour on back road trails. Yeah. And so Adam's riding the Mac Fox X1. X1? X1, yeah. And I'm on the Roll Road Emma. And uh, there's a different video about this bike, but there's a reason that he kept this bike and, and not any of the others that we rode. 
Uh, this is an awesome bike. But uh, there's mixed reviews out there about it. This thing, and what do you think about this bike? The Emma. The Emma. I really like it. Uh, like Jordan is saying, I kept the Mac Fox because it's so comfortable and for the price point of a Grand's. It's just really fun. I get up to 25 flat surface pretty easily, but what I love about the Emma is the extra power. I think on those trails, I'm 6'1", over 200 pounds here, and I was able to get up to about 32, 34 on this thing. Yeah. Uh, the Mac Fox is really comfortable, but it has no suspension. A lot of e-bikes, I was not a fan of the suspension because it actually felt less comfortable to me, a little jerky, but this thing, was great, especially when we got off the the paved the paved trails on the road. There wasn't a big difference with the suspension, but I really noticed it when we went on some two tracks, and it really can take off like from zero. With yeah, acceleration. Power. Even a guy my size, Huge. it feels like a legit, a legit form of transportation. So I like this thing. Check out the Emma. And uh, the Mac Fox doesn't have this bell. Oh yeah. Let all the other men know you're coming. <laughs> So we're riding the Harry Truman Presidential Trail. We're gonna keep going and eventually we'll hit the Harry Truman Presidential Birthplace, which is a little farm right here in Grandview, Missouri. And hopefully that'll probably be the end of our ride because our battery's going down. But we've done a good, well, by then we'll have done probably seven miles and then to our houses, it's another two miles. So a nine mile ride today, it's getting warm. First of all, this thing just looks awesome for a moped scooter style bike and the frame and the build just enhance the look of it. I love that about this. Of course, there's a thousand watt motor powering this thing. Um, four piston hydraulic brake system, which is actually one of the best that I've ridden, which is just another reason that this is one of the top bikes. As well, there are so many optional accessories to add to this, such as the extended saddle that they sell additionally on the side, as well as the basket, the foot pegs for your second passenger, and the suspension is fantastic. It's a dual suspension with a hydraulic shock absorber, as well as a 450 pound payload capacity. This is a really smooth ride. And of course, you've got features like a really nice headlight, full turn signals in the front and the rear, a brake light, fenders, and it boasts up to a 70 mile range on a single charge. Of course, varying terrain changes that, but this thing is a really nice, fun, economical, and practical bike to get. And if you're in the market, you absolutely need to consider the Roll Road Emma. If you're looking at something like the Juice or the Super 73, this should be a contender up there with those. But the features don't stop there. It has an eight speed Shimano gear system, a 5.3 inch color LCD with some great controls, a double guard crank set, and even cruise control. All of these come together to make a fantastic bike for a fantastic price. I do have to say, the price is right for the Roll Road Emma. If you're looking for a really good quality e-bike for a really good price, with the options to upgrade and to expand, the Roll Road Emma has, has made it into my top three picks because it's got all of the high-end features. Um, it's fast. If you unlock it, it goes fast. It looks cool. It is just a really fun bike. I definitely recommend it. Again, check out the new merch down below if you like it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.